so here we are with a new video and today we are going to cover natural resources and their use and i have covered multiple choice question answers there are 30 question answers are there and all are important and taken from the chapter so let us start first is which of the following is an example of an exhaustible natural resources and the options are water forest petroleum sunlight so the example of an exhaustible natural resources is petroleum right next when does nature become a resource options are when it is discovered by scientists when human find a use for it when it is available in abundance when it is found in forest so when human find a use for it then nature become a resource next why is nature considered as sacred and the options are because it gives us oxygen only because it is very powerful because it provide us with life supporting resources because it is difficult to understand now nature is considered as sacred because it provide us with life supporting resources right next which of the following resources is essential for life and the options are iron petroleum air coal so air is essential for life right next which of the following is a resource used mainly for making materials and tools and the options are iron air sunlight water iron is a resource used mainly for making materials and tool which resource is both used for energy and life support petroleum water iron clay so iron is used for energy and life support which of the following is a renewable resource coal petroleum sunlight natural gas sunlight is a renewable resource which of the following is a non renewable resource wind water forest coal so coal is a non and um, just non renewable resource okay so mcqs are covered in the topic wise so it will become easy for you also to go through the topic also so next is why is coal considered a non renewable resource and the options are it is found only in forest it burns quickly it cannot be replaced once used it is used in power station so coal is considered as a non renewable resource because it cannot be replaced once used next non renewable resources take dash to form a few weeks a few months thousands or millions of years one year so non renewable resources take thousands or millions of years to form next what happens when non renewable resources are overused options are they increase naturally they get recharged quickly they get exhausted and cause pollution they become renewable so when non renewable resources are overused they get exhausted and cause pollution why are natural resources unevenly distributed on earth due to human effort due to climate terrain and geological conditions due to equal rainfall everywhere because of farming technique so due to climate terrain and geological condition natural resources are unevenly distributed on earth okay next countries rich in natural resources are usually poor and underdeveloped dependent on imports more powerful economically equal to all other nations so countries rich in natural resources are usually more powerful economically what is one major implication of uneven distribution of resources global peace development of all region equally ban on resource uses conflict and competi uh, competition among nations so one of the major implication of uneven distribution of resources among the countries is conflict and competition among nations what is the best way to handle unequal distribution of natural resources hoard resources fight for control stop using them promote sharing and sustainable use so one of the best use to handle unequal distribution of natural resources is promote sharing and sustainable use next 
which continent is rich in mineral resource like gold and diamond and the options are asia africa australia europe so africa is rich in mineral resources like gold and diamond next what is bokaro famous for textile industry coal mining steel production it industry so steel production why is digboy known for it has a major steel plant it has the oldest oil refinery in india it is known for coal mining it is a big it hub so it has the oldest oil refinery in india next what does the term natural resource curse means options are having too many resources causes pollution countries rich in natural resources sometimes face slow economic growth and conflict natural resources always lead to fast and economic development resources that are scarce and unusable so countries rich in natural resources sometimes face slow economic growth and conflict and it is the term natural resource curse meaning right now how to restore and regenerate natural resources and the options are deforestation overuse of mineral afforestation and sustainable use burning fossil fuels so afforestation and sustainable use okay so in this way we can restore and regenerate natural resources okay next what is the main reason for the over exploitation of groundwater in punjab and the options are excessive rainfall use of traditional farming method intensive farming and excessive use of tube well lack of fertile soil so intensive farming and excessive use of tube well is the main reason for the over exploitation of groundwater in punjab next what is a major consequence of over exploiting groundwater in punjab increased water table depletion of groundwater and falling water table more rainfall improved soil quality so depletion of groundwater and falling water table next how does cement production cause pollution and health hazard by using only renewable resources by reducing air pollution by releasing dust and harmful gases into the air and by increasing soil fertility so cement production cause a uh, pollution and health hazard by releasing dust and harmful gases into the air okay next what health problem is commonly associated with cement dust pollution eye infection tooth decay skin allergy respiratory problems and lung diseases so respiratory problems and lung diseases are commonly health problem that is seen associated with cement dust pollution next why is sikkim considered a good example of sustainable natural resource management because and the options are it has many factories it promote organic farming and ban chemical fertilizers it export fossil fuels it cut down forest for mining so it promote organic farming and ban chemical fertilizers next what is one major environmental achievement of sikkim mentioned in the chapter and the options are becoming a major industrial hub becoming india's first fully organic state starting large coal mines using more chemical pesticides so becoming india's first fully organic state next why is it important to use natural resources responsibly and the options are to increase profit for industries to ensure resources for are available for future generation to use them up before they expire to avoid paying them so we should use natural resources responsibly to ensure resources are available for future generation also next which country play a leading role in launching the international solar alliance and the options are china germany united states india and france so india and france are leading in launching the international solar alliance next what is the main objective of the international solar alliance and the options are to promote fossil fuel use globally to promote the use of solar energy among member countries to increase coal exports to found oil drilling projects so to promote the use of solar energy among member countries and the last 
Which of the following help in conserving natural resources and the options are deforestation, using energy efficient appliances, leaving water tap open, burning plastic waste. So, using energy efficient appliances help in conserving natural resources, right? So, these are the 30 important question answer from the topic natural resources and their use and uh, the MCQs are covered topic wise from the chapter. I hope this is going to help you and thank you for watching until the end.